Hi, folks. I am going to read you another Christmas story in February today. This story is all about everything for me to protect them while they're hugging at each other. But this story is called Jaylene's Lens Christmas Wish by Le Vale Lavette, illustrated by David Wilkerson. Published by A Golden Book. Jaylene leapt up from building his model train as soon as his big sister, Hazel, walked in the room. Please drive me to the store, he said. Please, please, please. Christmas is in a few weeks, and I still have to buy a secret Santa gift. Good job. Hazel shook her head. No way. I'm not driving you around town. Can't you ask someone else to take you? Jaylene groaned. So much for Hazel's new driver's license helping him. Jaylene's family loved Christmas time more than any other time of year. They spent hours together putting up decorations and picking the perfect tree. On Christmas morning, Jaylene's dad, Tyrone, always marched downstairs dressed in a Santa suit that Grandma Luvanna made for Paw Paw Jimmy years before. And they always did a secret Santa exchange. This year, Jaylene had a very special secret Santa pick, his brother, Manuel. Christmas would be Manuel's first visit home after joining the army a year ago. But Jaylene couldn't do Secret Santa if he couldn't get to the store to buy Manuel a gift. Jaylene was about to complain to his mama, Helen, when he noticed that she was on the phone. He could tell by the slump of her shoulders that something was wrong. Uh-huh, Mama said. I understand. It's okay. We'll talk soon. We love you. Mama hung up the phone and went back to the Christmas cookie she was decorating. A tear rolled down her cheek. She quickly wiped it away. Who was that, Mama? Jaylene asked. It was Manuel, she said, holding back tears. Manuel? Hazel asked. What's wrong? Is he hurt? Mama shook her head. Nothing like that. He just has to stay in Alaska for Christmas. The army needs him on base. Good job. Jaylene's heart sank. He really been looking forward to seeing his brother. He wanted to show him all the cool things he built this year. Jaylene wanted to be an engineer like this hero, Ilja McCoy. Hazel, Jaylene said. We have to figure out how to get the whole family together for Christmas. Hazel looked thoughtful, and for a moment, Jaylene wondered if he might actually help. But then she just shrugged and said, What's the point? Manuel stuck in Alaska, and that's that. The next afternoon, Jaylene threw himself down on his cousin Lamson's bed. I've been thinking all right, but I can't figure out how to get Manuel home for Christmas. My only wish this year is to have Manuel home with us. Maybe you don't have to get him home for Christmas, Lamson said. What if you can bring home to him? Bring home to him, Jaylene said. I know you're not thinking of using the motorhouse rocket ship I built last year to get us there. Lansom grinned. No, not at all, but you can send him your gift and maybe some Christmas cookies. Jaylene sat up. I'm going to do better than that. I'm going to raise enough money to buy airline tickets and fly the family to Alaska. Good job. For the next week, Jaylene did every odd job he could find. 
He helped neighbors put up the Christmas decorations. He carried groceries and walked dogs. He sold model trains he made. He even helped some of Paul Paul Jimmy's friends set up their email. Good job. By the week before Christmas, Jaylene had a shoe box full of money. Hazel, look, he shouted. Now we can go visit Manuel. Hazel shook her head. I'm sorry, Jaylene. You did great, but this is barely enough to get one of us there. Good job. Jaylene's eyes welled up with tears. Christmas was only days away. What were they going to do now? Jaylene tried to say something, but the lump in his throat made it hard to speak. Okay, I give, Hazel smiled. I've been saving my paychecks from the grocery store for something important. But what's more important than my family being together for Christmas? Thank you, Hazel, Jaylene said as she handed him the money. Good job. What is all this talk of money? Paw Paw Jimmy asked. We want to fly the whole family to Alaska to be with Manuel for Christmas, Jaylene explained. That's a wonderful idea, Grandma Luvanna smiled big. We were planning to visit Manuel this summer, but I don't see why we can't go now instead. Yes, indeed. I want to see those northern lights Manuel keeps telling me about, Paw Paw Jimmy, Jimmy chimed in. Grandma Luvanna squeezed Jaylene tight. Come on! She whispered, let's go tell your parents the plan. Good job. On Christmas Day, Jaylene's whole family sat around a large table with Manuel and the other soldiers from his barracks. They used Jaylene's and Hazel's money to buy all the ingredients Mama and Grandma Luvanna needed to make all the Christmas trimmings for everyone. They had gumbo, dressing, mac and cheese, potato salad, peas, Paw Paw Jimmy's Kelgen fried turkey, sweet potato pie, and Jaylene's special gelatin rainbow treats. Merry Christmas, Manuel, the family cheered. Merry Christmas, y'all, Manuel shouted. Good job. And thank you, Jaylene, Manuel added. Your idea made my Christmas wish come true. Jaylene grinned. He gave his brother a big hug and said, Both of our Christmas wishes came true. The end. Good job, Ben. <clears throat> Who was your favorite characters in the story? Jaylene, Paw Paw Jimmy, Grandma Luvanna, and many more. Good. And why did you pick that shirt to go with the store? Because the shirt has Marvel that looked like Jaylene and his Christmas witch. Yeah, put it up against your shirt. To make it cool, I like it. So what would you like to say to the folks? Do you have a question? Well, folks, I've got to go now. I hope you enjoy a story about Jaylene for Christmas in February, and then I will see you again next week while we come back in another story to read it. Okay, that sounds like a good choice. All right, everyone, where are we going? Where are we going today? To drop off the mileage at Wabash Center. And then where? Music therapy. And after music therapy. Where will we go? Where are you going tonight? Dad's house for dinner. Okay, that sounds like a good place. And then Mom will order Let's Explore the Sun and Moon. Uh, March 1st. Okay? Yes. Wanna come down? Good. Good. Okay. Adios, folks. Adios, then. I think we should say adios too with his Facebook friends. Adios too with your Facebook friends. 
Let me count down. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Click.